we all have a little bit of experience or images that shapes our approach to our adult life. First of all, I remember my beloved family, my father, my mother, brother, and our beautiful moments together. But as well, a lot of strategy of the people who lived right next to me. When I was growing up in one of the most dangerous districts in Warsaw, I witnessed how an alcoholic man got injured and was eaten by insects. The father of five children who committed suicide or an intelligent young boy who was addicted to drugs. I also experienced it. I remember this day exactly. Because in addition to all of this, normal life was going on. When I was 21 years old, on a sunny day next to bus stop, I was attacked by an aggressor with a knife, and the majority of member, members were trying to help me. It was a terrible feeling, but I was proud that my, my neighbors were trying to support me. This strategy gave me the thought of looking for the reason for a long time. I was wondering why of some us, of us failed. Why am I in the place I am right now? After all, we had all similar opportunities, plans, and dreams. Where did the system go? Who should I blame? Where should I go? This pushed me to start the fight for the future and state of mind. I mean, my little fight for closing the gap of helping. As you all know that, when you start your adult life and experience what I experienced, you have to feel and know that you have to fight in your blood. I was looking for solution, that's why I became an emergency expert. When I needed to help, while wearing three numbers to large size shoes, and I was still able to run 250 kilometers in Sahara, or a frozen lake of Baikal in Siberia, going to base camp on Everest and take part on the highest of global marathons, or help a many children's home in Moshi, because I probably saw a little bit more gaps than other. Indeed, the aid and solving problems is like a state of mind that makes and can transfer you into a professional venue. Finding solutions in emergency shipping where others no longer have an idea, flying as a courier or board with biological material, or finding alternative solutions for transport. I was struggling and seeking solutions like when man, one man army. I was able to launch two companies from the garage and they still thrive socially involved. This made me feel calm, fulfilled as I help. For me, my family, education, empathy were crucial. My mom is a strong woman. My father was a good man with decent rules. My younger brother, who I can rely on while running the business. Now my beloved wife, my wonderful sons. I have learned respect for all. I have been always told that everyone should be able to talk, not to insult anyone, only listen and draw conclusions. Then help, because good deed comes back to you with double power and energy. Today's world need a need people who are not ashamed of their roots, no matter where they live. They are fully aware of their values, dreams, and never give up. They see, they understand human harm and respond faster. I'm convinced of this. My experience is an example of what regular men can do to close the gap of helping. I think each of you has own fight for closing the gap of helping. Now I would say, Nampenda Africa na Tanzania, kwa sababu ya rafiki zangu wana oishi hapa. Asanteni na kila laheri.